Hello folks, Paul here with another guide for you. This one is the first part of our multi-part charcoal guide. Today we're going to start with coconut charcoal. Coconut charcoal is comprised of carbonized coconut shells that are then ground down and bound together with some kind of binder. It's usually cornstarch. It's actually pretty benign stuff. Now, there are countless brands out there, and to be very frank, most of them are kind of the same product. A lot of them are actually made from the exact same recipe, and a lot of them are made in the same factories. There are some differences. Um, the most obvious one is the size. If you compare something like these Cocoa Buzz 2.0s to these Social Smoke Natural Coconut Charcoals, you'll notice that there is not much of a difference when it comes to texture or color, but there's a big difference when it comes to the size. Uh, now, what that means is that this piece of charcoal is going to burn for considerably longer than this piece of charcoal and produce more heat right off the bat, but the composition is pretty much the same. Uh, you do want to watch out for really cheap, low-quality coconut charcoals. There are a few companies out there who have substituted ground-up wood charcoal as a filler, and that, mm, well, that can cause off flavors, that can introduce carbon monoxide into the, uh, into the smoke, and in general, they're just not as good. They don't burn for as long, they don't burn with as mellow a heat, sometimes they burn very hot and uh, sporadically, but if you choose from one of the better brands on the market, and I want to be clear, this is not an all-inclusive list of the best brands of coconut charcoal. Uh, there are lots of other great brands out there, but if you choose one of the good brands, one of the quality brands, you're guaranteed to get a good session. You're guaranteed to get a piece of charcoal that does not add a lot of flavor to the session, if any, does not give off a lot of carbon monoxide, and um, burns evenly, consistently, and without a lot of problems. I love ch coconut charcoal, and you should definitely, definitely give them a try if you've not tried them yet. Now, the vast majority of coconut charcoal brands you're going to find are entirely natural charcoal, which means that they don't have any of the uh, accelerants or the, like, chemicals that are added to... Um, quick light charcoal to help them ignite themselves with very little heat. Uh, these need to be started on either an open flame or a an exposed coil burner. Uh, otherwise, if you try to light these with something like a pocket lighter, you're basically going to get the edge or the tip to glow red and then it's going to go out on you. They need a lot of heat and they need direct exposure. Now, that being said, there is one brand of coconut charcoal that does have a quick light version, and that is a chronic hookah quick light charcoal. Uh, they have the same type of chemicals as most quick lights, and they light um, fairly easily with like a Bic lighter or a torch lighter or something like that. So yeah, that just about does it for our intro guide to coconut charcoal. This doesn't go very deep, but it should give you a pretty good idea as to what you're getting into if you start smoking with coconut charcoal, which I do suggest. They are absolutely my favorites. Now, if you have any questions or you feel that I missed something that I should go over, uh, please go down to the comments section or go to the forums and let me know. Ask your questions, give me your comments, your criticisms, and I will respond to as many of them as I possibly can in the upcoming videos. We'll be back next time with quick light charcoal and I'll see you guys then. Happy smoking!